in this tutorial we will see how to create a 3d object so we will take this 3d object that we want to create in autocad so at first we have to create a rectangle of 118 by 44 so we will switch to autocad then at first now this is currently 2d drafting and annotation workspace so we will switch to 3d modeling Then we will delete this tool palette. We don't want this. Then select go to this 3D navigation and select Southeast Isometric. Then for this UCS icon, say UCS icon command to sh then say no origin so it will be shifted to left side. Then we have to create a rectangle of so just take a line command and uh, create a rectangle of just say f8 orthon so you want to create a 118 just pan it just escape zoom all then line again from end 44 118 44 so this rectangle is ready then we will press pull this by a thickness of 16 so we will say press pull 16 we will give the height of 16 height of 16 then we will just say here conceptual visual style view so that we can view it in 3d environment like this so next work we have to do is will be to create this circle uh, it is of 44 diameter so it will be at 22 from this point so we will just copy edge we will just copy the edges so here is copy edge we want to take the reference so copy edge this edge we will copy enter base point direction 22 distance so skip to come out so here we will create a circle of 22 radius so circle 22 radius enter so this circle has been created here then internal circle is of 16 diameter that means 8 radius so we will create one more circle of 8 radius so this circle is also created so we don't want this outside corner so we will just remove it using press pull so just say press pull go inside the portion this portion I don't want so I will just click it go down cross the thickness and click so that portion will be cut same way on this side also press pull take this portion click go down just pan it up go down and click so it will be cut now next we want to create a, this internal hole so for that again we will use the press pull press pull go inside take the internal hole portion but it is taking only half so we will just delete this line horizontal line so that uh, internal hole portion can be just delete so we'll just press pull the internal hole press pull take the internal hole click go down and click so this portion uh, this side is ready then after that I don't want this circle so I will just delete this circle then from here this portion is there so it is 24 and again that circle is there so I will just create a line of 24 length from quadrant of this of length 24 then uh, that is of 16 and again 24 up to this quadrant okay line from the end of this up to this quadrant just click so that line will be drawn escape 
then on that side i want to one more circle of 8 radius so i will say it circle is created now here again i don't want this internal line so i will just erase it erase and uh, i don't want this internal circle so i will just trim it so tr is the shortcut these are the cutting edges so for easy selection i will shift to 2d wireframe so that selection will become very easy so i will just say trim this line and this line between this line i want to trim this circle enter click so it has been trim so i will sh again shift back to conceptual then i will again use the press full command to remove the, the remaining portion so i will go inside then zoom minus then come down and click so that portion is ready i don't want this circle so i will erase it delete it just select the circle and delete so in this way this portion is ready uh, below lines i don't want it i will say erase and i will erase this below lines also okay in this way this portion is ready front portion now we will uh, now next is this vertical portion so for this vertical portion the width is 48 and uh, 48 that means 24 from center upward so that uh, rectangle should be of uh, then 40 minus 16 that is 420 24 24 plus this 24 that means height is again 48 height so again we will create a rectangle of 48 by a square of 48 by 48 that means now this square is vertical so we we'll, we have to change our ucs for changing ucs we will go to view then uh, go to this ucs named ucs combo control in coordinate section click click on unnamed and just select front because i want to work on front plane so this is a front plane so just create a rectangle suppose i will go to home rectangle give first point so i want to create a 48 by 48 rectangle right click dimension so width is 48 height is 48 enter on this side so again i will uh, press pull this portion so i will just say press pull give a thickness so the thickness in this case is 12 so i will give a thickness of 12 so this portion is ready then again at the center i have to create a circle so i will just say circle c then i will track the center point mid of this and mid of this line vertical line and i will go inside so it will give me exactly center then i will give a radius radius of 24 and again inside a circle is there that is of 20 that is 10 radius so again i will say circle 10 radius okay so in this uh, also this top corners are not required so i will just press pull and remove them press pull and go backward and click again press pull just go backward and click so those are removed then internal hole is also not required so again i will say press pull go inside hole click and go backward and click so that is has been removed so i just have to copy this there now so i will say copy so i will use a standard copy command so copy select object enter then give the base point so this corner i will take as a base point so that it can be placed on that corner so it has been placed on this corner and the same need to be placed okay for that base point should be different so we will just cancel it here 
then using shift and ruler we will just orbit and we will copy we will erase this or we will we will move this just i will give m for move select object enter so this point is the base point this should be placed on this corner so i will just say other corner ortho so that it will okay on this end point it should be placed so i will just click there so it has been placed there i don't want these lines i will erase it enter so now this this object and these two object are different so to merge them into one object i will use the union command so here is the union just after giving union just select all the three objects and press enter then in this way then just uh, to see in standard go to southeast uh, southeast isometric so that we can view it properly so in this way this object is ready so we will stop here thanks for joining